Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be kind of wrapping up this tribute page project. <coughs> when I first initially set this up, if when I went over to my um, my console, my JavaScript wasn't loading, so I wasn't getting the tests that they had here, and so I wanted to fix that. the uh, The JavaScript that we have for the um, free code projects was up here, and because it was in the head. That made it so that it wasn't running. So the key is here is I need to come down and put it um, below the body. And if I save that now, and I go back to the technical page. Um, you see that the uh, CSS, the JavaScript now now works, and so you can run the tests. And this is a good way to do it. So from now on, we're going to be running doing this initially when we set up a new project. Um, so here I can click the test and I can see it. they've basically got, uh, it says that I've passed all the test examples except for this one. And um, they say that uh, the image element should responsibly resize relative to its width and parents elements without exceeding its original size. So try using max width style property, expected none to equal none. Okay, so what is this? It says expected none to not equal none. So what we want to do is set a max width property on our images. Our images are showing up here and even though they are even though our images are um, responsively sized, the way that this test is is working is doesn't show them to be responsively sized. So what we want to do is add an attribute to the image and luckily we already have an ID on each of the images and so we can come down here and set the image to be equal to a max width of let's say 500 pixels I don't think that's gonna mess our site up so if I ref if I save that we've basically set a max width for each of our images um, because we have an ID of image on each one of our, our images, all one, two, three, four, five, ten, or whatever it is of them. So if I go back to the page and I refresh, and now I can check for the testing suite. And it doesn't seem to be working. What's going on here? Display property. Oh, it should have a display property of block. Okay, so yeah, the images need to have a display property. So we'll go back to the CSS and the image um, display is equal to block. And if I save that and we refresh the page and then I run the tests, they pass. And so now we have a completely working tribute page. And as we build more tribute pages going forward, we'll start by putting the uh, project text in here. And uh, that makes it uh, makes it work. So now we're good um, good to move forward. You can see that the image is um, number has a width of greater than 500 pixels, which is pretty cool looking. And so yeah, I just wanted to add that last little bit of information to this project. And so this, if you were curious about how I built this overall page, check out the tribute page video that was ahead of this. And uh, if not, on our next video, we'll be getting into building a survey form. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.